Howdy and welcome to another video edition of Remedy Land. Today I want to talk to you about pulp test. A pulp test is a form of dental treatment. Its primary purpose is in tooth physical health evaluation, particularly, the dentist seats a tool on the tooth that transmits an electric, high temperature, or perhaps cold current. Certain pulp assessment techniques demand complete usage of a tooth surface area, therefore tooth encased fully with crowns could be harder to assess compared to subjected tooth. The level to which this electric current generates a reaction in the tooth can assess possible problems within the tooth. Pulp vitality tests are important elements of the endodontic evaluation and assist to reveal the condition of the tooth pulp. These types of pulp tests can easily confirm the demand for dental interventions such as root canals or perhaps tooth extraction. The tooth pulp test determines the physical health of a tooth's pulp. Many nerves together with blood vessels are in every tooth, delivering maintenance and sensation. The pulp's connective structure preserves those elements. For that reason, this substance is probably the perfect indicator of a tooth's general health. In the event that the pulp is affected, then the whole tooth encounters threat. Once pulp vitality test of a affected tooth implies that pulp is not active, dentists engage in root canal treatment to eliminate the lifeless cells and protect against abscess. Electric pulp test, hot pulp test, cold hot pulp test, cavity test. The purpose of a tooth pulp test would be to stimulate reactions in a tooth presumed of degeneration. Reactions usually takes the shape of buzzing or perhaps tapping. The reactions are created through an electrically incurred current that flows in the tooth. In case a dentist can locate a region of subjected tooth at the crown margin, he is able to pulp test a crown tooth electronically. Different types of the sensation based on pulp vitality test can be found, that additionally can determine a tooth's interior flow of blood. A tool known as a pulp tester regulates the current's strength. However testers typically produce electrical power, they could additionally generate additional sensation measuring methods such as high temperature and low temperature. Usually patients show reporting discomfort to a thermal stimulation in a particular quadrant. During these situations essential pulp testing techniques must be carried out initially, on most likely pain-free tooth far away from the region of the main problem. Particularly the desired combination would be to check contralateral tooth initially, opposing tooth secondly, after that most likely healthy tooth within the thermally hurtful quadrant and finally the very suspicious tooth last. This course of action of sequencing the essential pulp vitality tests enables both the dentist and the affected person to acknowledge the range of regular pulpal reactions exposed by asymptomatic tooth. The dentist may use much more common materials to execute a pulp test also, starting from ice sticks to very hot liquids. Prior to applying the tester to the tooth, a tiny bit of conducting gel is firstly rubbed upon the tooth. Adjoining teeth will also be assessed with the meter to function as the comparable model. Abnormalities in the pulp test generally reveal nerve destruction and persistent infectious process, which could set the patient's general health in danger. Once the central tooth generates a discomfort that differences with adjoining teeth, this reaction generally implies tooth nerve deterioration. When the feeling happens considerably sooner than it happens in the some other teeth, then pulpitis, or perhaps swelling of the tooth pulp, is a probably reason. Absolutely no feelings at all, alternatively, could signal serious abscess contamination or perhaps dying of the pulp cells a disorder identified as dental pulp necrosis. Once pulpal swelling is limited to the root canal area, diagnosticians needs to be suspicious when affected individuals try to specify a certain tooth they recognize as the cause of their problem. This skepticism is reasonable because the tooth pulp does not possess proprioceptive nerve materials. To summarize, it is advisable to understand that a symptomatic affected person could present with a few different, unique and not connected complications and, for instance, 
The tooth which is symptomatic to nipping pressure is sometimes not the tooth which is symptomatic to a thermal stimulation. Usually there are four techniques that could be applied to identify the wellness of the tooth pulp, the cold, very hot, electrical and also cavity testing. But, it must be acknowledged that as soon as the pulp is induced with cold, there is certainly a refractory time period of a few minutes before another cold or perhaps very hot pulp test could be precisely performed. The electrical pulp test is much more method sensitive, demands a dried area and also is quite often difficult to apply in tooth with complete recuperative coverage. The cavity test is occasionally utilized and mainly taken into consideration in case the medical and radiographic facts and pulp vitality test outcomes are inconclusive. Thermal tests needs to be performed on the cervical part of a tooth and also as near as achievable to the open gingival margin. This area presents the thinnest part of enameled surface or perhaps a repair and, critically, the nearest range to the pulp cell. Once a patient reveals and declares a background of pain to a cold stimulation, after that the dentist need to rationally perform the cold pulp test. Despite the fact that there are several strategies which might be chosen to employ a cold stimulation, one dependable source would be to use an ice pencil. The particular method for pulp test is simple. The ice pencil is set in the direction of the cervical part of a tooth on the buccal or perhaps lingual part of a crown and immediately is applied forwards and backwards. Once the affected person alerts they sense cold in the tooth getting examined, the ice is instantly withdrawn. Dentist is watching the immediacy, strength and also significantly, the length of the reaction. Once a patient reports a background of discomfort is hot stimulation. After that the dentist needs to naturally perform the hot pulp test. A toothache precipitated by very hot fluids or perhaps meals generally indicates infected or perhaps partly necrotic pulp. There are several unique tools that could be chosen to utilize a hot stimulation. Once the affected person lifts their hands, the dentist need to instantly eliminate the hot stimulation. But, some pulpily engaged teeth might not at first be triggered by the hot pulp test and after a few moments, elicit serious discomfort. Because of this, it is important to hold back a few moments before setting up her hot stimulation on the following tooth. I hope you've enjoyed this video edition. We'll see you again on another video edition of Remedy Land. Take care.